Hello everyone and welcome to the House of Builds. Today I'm going to show you some arc furnace automation. So the first one I'm going to show you is good for early game. Doesn't take many resources. You need three logic IOs and a logic processor. You want two slot readers and a logic writer with the logic IOs and a compare unit out of the processor. So we want to compare the import slot occupancy versus the export slot occupancy. So we need arc furnace, import, occupied. Arc furnace, export, occupied. We want to compare them. We want the import on part one and the export on part two, and we want it greater. And then you use the logic writer to write the compare unit to the arc furnace under activate. So let's step it up a notch. Let's add some shoots. This way you can throw couple in the shoot line and not have to worry about turning on your furnace. So now you can load as many as you have shoots. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, say, so even the junction. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So the most I can should want to put in is five early game you can use shoot inlets it saves on power you just make sure you throw it by holding pressing q and then let's put it on ic the ic for it is pretty simple you just switch it to the the logic chips to the program so we have reading the slot in, input reading the slot output and if it's less than, it returns it to start. But if it's greater than, it continues on and activates the arc furnace. So let's take it a step higher. Now that we have IC chips, we can add some quality of life. So how about we have some automation with the shoot bin? Now I don't have to worry about pulling the lever, per se. Let's add a diode slide, and now we have a completion bar for each stack that you put in. It will remember the number of ore in the stack when you input it, and it will div divide it against what it has smelted to give it a ratio, and it print lights up the diode to what the ratio is. So let's go even one more higher. Say we just want to throw belts in the whole system. Then we would need an unloader. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there is a sorter in here. Because once we throw a belt in the unloader, it will unload the belt, tools and ores, right everything out of the belt. So we'll need to tell what goes where by with a sorter. And a sorter will sort out the ores. You need a computer to set the sorter. And we want to whitelist the ore. That way, on the plus side of the output, it will put ore out the plus side. And anything else goes out the other side. So let's just throw this mining belt in. And I'll sort it all out. I set a vending machine on the output so that now we have the belt and the drill in the vending machine. The ore gets smelted and then kicked into this vending machine. Now you can hide the vending machines. The switch is on the back so you just gotta make sure you can access that
after you build the frame. So what I have done is you take the logic writer switch and you have the output set to the vending machine and on. So now that I can just turn this off and on. And now we have iron in the vending machine. I will upload all of this logic to the Steam Workshop and I will also upload the save to the Steam Workshop. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you again.